Yeah, I admit it, the title's a little bit clickbaity, but this is the last vlog that we're doing here on this channel. The last Growing Your YouTube Channel to a Million Subscriber vlog and the last of my personal vlogs. Rather than kind of keep repeating the same message, I'm combining the, my two vlogs into a single vlog for our swan song here on the Dotto Tech channel. Now, if you've followed uh, this channel for any time, you've probably heard me over the last several weeks talking about the fact that I am gonna be dividing the channel. I'm gonna be leaving the, uh, all of our productivity content on the Dotto Tech channel, and I'm gonna be creating a new channel for the, what I call my passion projects, the things that, uh, my personal vlog and my growing your YouTube channel vlog, uh, moving them off. Now, the reason that I'm doing this is completely strategic. It's because of how the YouTube algorithm works and I, in the fact that my productivity channel is my business. It's, it's the, it's, it's the, it's how we, I make my money and the vlog content is holding it back from growth on YouTube. It's just a strategic decision. I, it's for the good of the business, the good of the channel. So it was a difficult decision to make, but one that I'm comfortable with now that I've made it but I'm a little bit trepidant about as we move ahead into the next phase. So uh, if you if you want to hear a little bit more about this decision and, and, and that, stick around. If not, I'm going to be putting links in to the new channel for the vlogs. Now on this new channel will be the Growing a YouTube Channel of Million Subscriber vlog and my personal vlog, which has really grown. You know, this is around the 40th one, I guess, I've delivered. It's really grown a lot into a uh, lifestyle vlog talking to baby boomers, Gen Xers, people who are a little bit older about what our life is like in the digital world, the challenges we face in the online world, our responsibilities, and life from our perspective. And that has become really a passion project for me. It's grown into something that I'm thoroughly enjoying. I love the dialogue and the conversation that's happening. So if you folks want to continue following those vlogs, make sure that you subscribe. Uh, the links will be here. And this will be, the, as I say, this will be the last time we post here. The next time we post uh, in, the, in either of the vlogs will be on the new channel. It's called Steve Dotto, if you need to search for it. And it will hopefully slowly start to rank in, in search and to, and to kind of get a little bit of discoverability about it. So I'm hoping as many of you come across with me as possible. Um, so the, as I said, the, uh, you know, kind of rolling back the main reason that we're, the, or the only reason really that we're doing this is all about, it's a pragmatic decision, just a business decision based on, based on YouTube and YouTube creators far smarter than me have consulted me and shown me the, just the challenges that we face having a variety channel on YouTube. YouTube likes specific content. They like to peg, pigeonhole you. That's it. They like to pigeonhole you into a, a slot so that they can recommend your video, which is where all of your growth comes from. So if you want to continue growing on YouTube, you make sure that you listen to what YouTube asks for. And that's kind of a, an unusual phenomenon in YouTube. Maybe it's always been there in business, but I certainly get the feeling more doing YouTube as a living than when I was doing television, that if you're not growing, you're dying. And so there's a very powerful... Um, th 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 there's no stasis. There's no kind of maintaining your position. You're either on in a growth curve or you're in a in a in a decline, and both of them have increasing momentum attached. So it's important to keep growing. A lot of YouTubers have commented uh, about how, and there's a lot of discussion in, in in the community lately about burnout, about how YouTubers are feeling burned out, and I completely understand that. Like, uh, there's a variety of different reasons for it, but I think one of the underlying factors is that one that I just mentioned, the fact that you're either growing or you're declining. I'd love to hear your opinion on it. If you are uh, a blogger, do you experience the same thing? If you're a podcaster, do you experience the same thing? And just in regular business, do you experience the same, the same uh, pressures to constantly be building and growing? I wish it wasn't. I, it would be nice to be able to kind of hit a, hit a point and then kind of coast to a certain extent. I think it would be. I'm not sure that it excites me, the idea of coasting, but uh, it's, it's worth considering. It would be nice to have a, a respite from time to time so that you can just kind of recharge your batteries. Uh, but alas, that doesn't really seem to be the case in the YouTube space. So I'm hoping that this new format is going to, it's not really a new format, but this now newly defined format is going to uh, yeah, kind of spur the growth of the Dotto Tech channel. And we'll see, we'll see very quickly. You know, right now we're growing 
and dot of tech by a couple hundred subscribers a day uh, maximum. Uh, but I really want to see that you know doubling and tripling over the next six months to a year. And this will be proof in the pudding. Let's see if I'm if I'm correct or and if my advisors are correct with the fact that staying on point, staying in in content is going to indeed engender the kind of growth that we're looking for. Uh, so that's really the, the vlog today. Uh, on the, it's been a lot more about YouTube than the personal side. Uh, I'm doing, for those of you concerned about me, as I injured my calf a few weeks ago, three weeks ago now, I tore a calf muscle and I've been kind of on the limp. I'm back at the gym the last couple of days, uh, not fully. I'm being very careful about what exercises I do with my with my legs and stuff like that. But oh my gosh, from a personal perspective, you know, once if you once you're into the routine of working out as I was like six days a week, when you take, I don't know what the drop off point is for when you really feel it, but I was feeling terrible after five or six days that I really wanted to to get to work out again. My body was saying work out again, but then about a week after that, my body was going, oh, I'm kind of glad I'm not going to the gym today, and that scared the pants off me, like uh, like which kind of prompted me probably to get back in the gym a little bit before I was ready. My leg's completely ready because I, as I say, I do have to baby it. It's going to be a, a good month or so till it's like a hundred percent. Uh, but I just, I, I just recognize that I could get very easily fall into the procrastination mode again, where I'll go to the gym tomorrow. I'll go to the gym tomorrow. Uh, so we're just back into it now. I'm sore, but I'm happy. And that's it. So this is it. I'm signing off the last vlog on the Dotto Tech channel. Make sure that you subscribe to the new channel. I look forward to seeing you over there. And of course, remain subscribed to Dotto Tech. We're still going to be doing tremendous videos on productivity. And we've got a, we've got a new webinar recap, a little 10-minute webinar recap, which seems to be really popular where we take our webinar Wednesday and compress it down to a, 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 a compressed version of 10 minutes. And so we've got exciting new things that are happening here on the Dotto Tech channel as well and exciting new things. All of my passion projects will be over on the Steve Dotto channel. We will see you hopefully in both places. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle. <laughs>